Where's this shine? Hey.
to moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Uh, oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? To be happy, sir. Then you need to be rich. And the only way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book. Let women vote. It's time. Faites attention. What do you think you are doing? Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah. I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. OK, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck.
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell III. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. coming together wonderfully. Hey! Who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cat! I said get out of here! This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Hey, 
Pache, ¿cuál es su problema? Por favor. It's warm. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's cads to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! He just left the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no! My mother gave me that when I was a girl! Yeah. Oh, you bastards! Oh. Not even a sorry. Oh, you. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this. You know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Well, maybe your eyes don't... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Oh, God, please, no! You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help! I, help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer, help! <sighs> Goodness! Challenges used to frustrate me. 
Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found you. I told you. Brother Dorkins was Hi there, mister. Ma'am? I hope you weren't expecting any kind of payment. That would be awkward. Yep. How do you do? to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you.
Ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy. <gasps> You're here for your bounty. <gasps> oh, come to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't, don't. I ain't us, gonna Pop. fight you in front of my family. Okay? Take me away, or let me loose. boy you remember this moment you're the man now be a man boy I love you daddy enough with that just remember what I said boy okay fella Now, what was the point in all that? Could've got your neck broke. Premature. There he is! Like the boy said! Let him go back to his family! Or you're gonna have trouble with us! <coughs> hey! Give him up! Uh. You're dead, bastard! Now, come on! This is 
Rose Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Ah. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. We all deserve second chances, every one of us. Everyone's got a sob story, Johnson. Just minding my business. Couple fellers missing. Got posters up all over town. Where you are. 
Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Why, if it ain't one of them pricks who made Shady Bell his own. I'm remembering. Put him down. I'm doing the win hell. Raiders row like hell. Now look, move it down. Ah. One class game. It's Offer your unconditional surrender. You're surrounded. Ah. Time to go, boy. Friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well...
Well, what? Don't just leave it there. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should... Heavens. Hello again, sir. Sir, good morning. Here you go.
But you gotta go! Train is in the station. All aboard! 